Hey guys, so uh, I wanted to do a quick little comparison of the speed and performance between the SX Edge Plus and the LG V10. Uh, so these uh, companies are rivals when it comes to smartphones and I wanted to see uh, which uh, high-end uh, handset uh, is dominant here. Uh, so I think a little bit different in terms of the internal specs with these two. Uh, but they have both very strong camera credentials so you know uh, it would be interesting to see how they compare and I think uh, both of them are due for the marshmallow upgrade uh, I did get an update with the V10 but unfortunately it wasn't marshmallow so we are still waiting you can see the boot up a little bit faster here uh, on the Edge Plus and I think we're in now on both of them uh, so the interesting thing about these two is obviously the value adds that they do bring to the table such as the uh, the uh, dual screen setup on the V10 uh, so when you like uh, open up something and then open up something else uh, things do come up on here so you can go back to them nice and quickly uh, and uh, it's pretty awesome if you do you know master it uh, other than that on the uh, edge plus we do have the edge screen here so you can put uh, favorite apps here so if you want to put your camera there you can do that and then go into something nice and quick you can also put your contacts on there as well as well as use it as a clock like uh, at night if you sleep on the uh, side of it you can see like information coming up on the side which is pretty awesome you know you should uh, use these features you are paying a lot of money for them and we do often forget that they do you know they are there so anyway we can have a look at the performance here so I think we are all closed down and uh, we just open up some apps nice and quick nice new uber app here I think they've updated it so very similar so far a little bit quicker here I think on the edge plus there similar again very, I love the optimization of the V10. I think it's amazing. I mean, it's not even running a snap uh, like a proper flagship processor. You know, it's a very uh, average processor in the larger scheme of things. Yeah, it's got very amazing performance. You can see that was even faster on the V10 going into the weather. Definitely saw that. Uh, we can have a look at the Play Store so again you know very similar here wow I thought the edge plus would definitely be ahead by now but you know you can't uh, assume that so you know I think the V10 again with the uh, music was a little bit quicker there and I noticed like when you so like you go into the music so it's just go back into this one and then you come out of it can see how fast it is on the V10 it's just blindingly fast and there's a little bit of uh, kind of delay here well it's a slower kind of animation I guess uh, but I do notice these things and they do add up in terms of you know the performance uh, but nevertheless very impressive stuff from the V10 you can just uh, load a game as well So I think the raw horsepower here loads the game a bit faster. You are getting uh, the Malai GPU which is very nice uh, for that. So we can just do a quick little test here of the uh, map's performance. Uh, we do like to see you know, if the GPS is strong uh, on both of them. So both should be on the high accuracy and we can just uh, go somewhere today such as Kent and Gulp so I'm 
Hmm. So the photos don't seem to load on the V10, uh, which is interesting. So you can see the uh, Edge Plus seems to load the photos much faster here. <laughs> and getting weird, can't connect with the V10. So that is uh, pretty bizarre. Let's just try somewhere else. Maybe it's a one off. Essex. Good old Essex. So, go. Again, it's not loading the pictures. Why won't you load the pictures? can't connect just try reconnecting it's really weird yes good stuff now will you show me the pictures Seriously, this is really weird. I don't know why it's doing this, uh, but you know, it is what it is, I guess. S6 Edge Plus wins by default. Uh, so I'll look into that why you know it's not uh, playing ball, uh, but generally, you can see uh, I think the, the uh, Edge Plus was doing a bit better there. Uh, we can have a look at uh, the web browsing quite quick. Uh, so we just load up uh, GSM Arena. I don't think we have an internal browser on uh, the V10. So you can see, I think this was a little bit faster on the uh, Edge Plus here. GameSpot. Go. So about the same when it comes to the search. A little bit faster here on the V10. Very nice to load this one. And I think the Edge came up with the video a little bit faster there. One more phone arena. faster for the search on the V10 and I think the pictures came up a little bit faster here no it didn't well, so it was a V10 where the pictures came up faster maybe or not quite mixed really you know some came up faster on the edge and some came up faster on the V10 but the bar is still loading here and it's done on the V10 so you know uh, quite a mix there, I'm probably going to give it a draw actually uh, which is a success in itself for the V10 uh, we can have a look at the multitasking as well so I do expect the V10 to dominate here both of them have 4 gigs of RAM and I think uh, LG employs people who know how to optimize the phone. You can see no real issues here. And we do have the asphalt straight in there, no reload flawless victory for the V10 when it comes to that uh, so apart from the maps uh, little trip up there you know I was quite impressed with the V10 performance against the uh, flagship Sammy boy uh, and I think down really what it's down to is just software optimization I think LG is doing a little bit better if you ask me a lot of people criticize LG when it comes to the software being ugly and everything but I don't see it 
you know I see very nice performance there uh, and uh, we did do a camera test comparison as well uh, between the two so you can have a look here both of them have amazing you know feature sets when it comes to the camera uh, which you know never really let me down and we did do some low light shots uh, I think in general they were both very good here but I think the V10 uh, was a little bit more affected by the weather conditions it was kind of raining and I was trying to keep the lens clean but every now and again I did notice like there was a little bit of haziness on these shots uh, which I didn't get so much on the uh, the S6 Edge Plus this could be like uh, like the way that the lenses are uh, positioned uh, but generally you know it, despite that they have very a uh, similar kind of performance when it comes to you know the uh, low light performance uh, you can have a look for yourself you know have a look uh, if you can see any differences did do some macro close-up shots as well we do like uh, seeing the bucker effect I think the V10 does the bucker a little bit better uh, if you ask me uh, but you know you could probably play with the settings to adjust that uh, we did do uh, like 4K video tests as well. You can have a look at the differences here. I got to say I think that uh, Samsung could definitely learn some things from LG when it comes to the video uh, f functionality it has amazing uh, like features like you'd find on a proper DSLR uh, like for example you can see here you can control uh, this uh, slider here uh, whereas the Samsung very basic you know it's like there's not much there really but generally the actual performance you know about comparable but I'd probably trust in the Edge Plus a little bit more when it comes to the low light uh, in like bad conditions. Uh, but nevertheless, you know, you can see here very nice performance from the V10, and uh, I'm sure that uh, the G5 will be on the way to take on the Galaxy S7. Hopefully, they'll keep the trend of having very nice software optimization. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, don't forget to leave a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.